Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosia, and today I'm going to show a really small Amazon haul order I put in that I got a couple of their items. I'm still waiting for some more later this week, but I'm happy to show what I have now. <laughs> and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, hope you enjoy the show. <laughs> oh, and if you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well. Mm-hmm. So, I had seen a lot of PR, well, product review, cha not channel, sorry, videos, of an Art Dot product that I had been keeping my eye on, but I wasn't too sure if I wanted to, you know, test the waters on it. And I saw a product review recently, I believe, probably a couple days ago, that really won me over. So, I figured, you know what, let me, <laughs> as they say, jump into the water and put in the order. So what I had been looking at was an Art Dot product and it's their putty. <laughs> I had been thinking of purchasing and trying it and I've been kind of holding up because I do own a lot of, you know, putty and wax and all of that. And I wondered, ooh, I don't know if I should, but what kept winning me over was the container. The little box is so cute. And I love the color because blue is my favorite color. Oh, and before I start kind of showing you all this, I want to thank for, how do I word it? I purchased this through a commission I got because someone kindly used my Diamond Art Club affiliate code. And I do get a small commission when that code is uh, used. And all of that that I received, I used it to purchase items off of Amazon because I wanted to, you know, I wanted a couple, been a while since I've purchased any diamond painting items off of Amazon and I kind of want to show you all a haul so I wanted to return it back to the channel. Yeah that makes sense. <laughs> so thank you to whoever used the code. I, it really allowed me opportunity as I said to show everyone all of these wonderful products I'm about to show and mostly I really want to show the putty. So it is through Amazon and it is Art Dot just to explain again and as I said this isn't a product review I purchased it with um, my own money and I really 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 wanted to try this and that's why you see the little sticker because it's sold through Amazon and all the information of everything I'm going to show and put in the description below and I just really really love this little this little box and it is it's just a little sturdy box and it came just in your standard little Amazon mailer a bubble wrap mailer I believe and again my the mailman decided to smart to shove it into the mailbox so luckily this time this one wasn't damaged so whoop, whoop, just a little bit but it's all right it's still got to fit and in the back just has some instructions on how you would put the putty and how it all works and just warnings and all of that it's in different languages <coughs> excuse me and let me just Take that the container. Oh my goodness, it is a lot larger than I thought. <laughs> and as I said, I've seen videos of it, but there's a difference between, as we all know, seeing it on screen and then seeing it in person. Oh my goodness, it is a lot larger than I thought. Oh my goodness, it's real it's a really nice. I'm not sure if it's tin or aluminum. Might be aluminum. It's real soft and smooth. It says art dot in the back and the front. It says keep calm and diamond paint most true statement I've seen <laughs> and what I also found interesting is this little item so this assists you on putting the putty in to the pen and removing it as you can probably see it's a little pointy so I do recommend just be careful with it and same thing when you cap it back I'm being real slow because I have a habit of just <laughs> I did to my tweezers too and I always end up getting myself this is really neat I really love this item because one of my issues I have with putting putty in my multi-placer is I am so bad at taking it out without any you know leftovers still in the placer and this is the putty and all you would really do is slide it I believe oh my goodness that was easier than I thought and this is the putty same thing when I first saw it I thought oh my goodness that is a lot and it is it is a lot on the tray this if I dedicate myself to just seeing this putty then I can probably keep using this for a couple of years. And the little tin box is really useful because it really helps the putty from getting dry and making sure, you know, 
it's not you don't know I, myself i think of i don't accidentally put something on it <laughs> if i haven't uncovered i'll think it's a little tray and keep putting stuff in it I, i'm i'm absent-minded like that and it's really nice and it does have the plastic film on it oh it feels real real neat <laughs> Oh, and it's not scented. I, sorry, I had to sniff it because it states that it wasn't scented, but I just wanted to make sure because my nose is a little sensitive. So I kind of have a pen that I forgot to take out some of my old putty that was in it. And it's just a seven multi-placer, so let me remove it because I really want to test this out. And this putty is already old. I was already thinking of removing it. And this putty is a little bit stringy. But I don't have problems with it because since I've had it on the multi-placer bit, I don't believe it will give me an issue. As you saw, it was really, really stringy. So let me put it aside. My I moved my trash can so it's a little further now. Oh my goodness, this putty really, really does not want to work with me as you see. But it's real easy to use when you're pulling with the little remover. Oh, I really love this little thing. And I would always use tree, sorry, tweezers to remove it. But I was so worried that oop, that I might scratch the inside of the multi-placer. It's a steel tip multi-placer. It's a Diamond Art Club one. I love these multi-placers. I use them all the time. But I'm always worried I'm going to scrape the inside of it. Oh, that putty really does. I, I've had it in there for a while. <laughs> I'm really odd whenever I use potty. I try to use it to the max where it just doesn't stick anymore. And I still think maybe there might be one more stick I can do for it. I don't know. I'm really odd about that. Oh, give me one moment. Sorry about that. As you probably all heard, it was a really, really loud plane that I was passing by. But while I was waiting, I was trying to, as you all saw, trying to remove the putty out. Goodness, I've had it. I really did have it in there that long. I didn't notice that. I want to make sure I can get it all out. So I can put this putty in. I don't have an issue. So it doesn't affect the quality of it because I don't want to, you know, put the putty and I, I don't believe it will but i'd rather be safe than sorry as the saying goes i'm just woo. there's just a little bit on the side that i'm scraping out sorry i'm gonna get a little closer to me because it's a little further and i'm having problems seeing it wow that putty really did not want to come out <laughs> as i said it was an older one so i had a feeling it was gonna give me kind of difficulties come sorry being removed out I think I might need to scrape the side a lot because it's on the side that's giving me problems. Uh, within the placer, I mean. I think I got a good amount out. Uh, no, nope, there's a little bit there. <laughs> My apologies. I did not know that this putty was going to give me such a problem removing. Usually, I, as I, I usually don't leave it put in the placer that long. But I think I kind of... I've been multi-placing a lot, so I was on a roll, <clears throat> excuse me, and I kind of didn't notice that, oh, I need to change the putty, because after a while it does, it does, well, this, and after a while it doesn't stick anymore, so it causes an issue, for example, is this, ooh, sorry about that, <laughs> so I got removed, so uh, the way I do with putty, I usually just place at the end, and I just drag it so it's placed in but i don't know if i want to do that because i don't want to waste any of the putty i mean i know i have more than enough but i'm really odd about it but i'm gonna see if i can just get it from the end and i'm just gonna press it firmly i'm not gonna drag it i'm gonna see if i can just pop it out oh and actually it's my multi-placer that popped out yeah the multi-placer is a little loose on this pen so Oh my goodness, it really, really sticks. I'm going to make sure I can really get in there. 
goodness, that is really, really sticky. I feel it too. I know you can pull apart and roll it in your hands. I used to do that, but anytime I would do that, I had such an issue having so much left over that I would always end up having to throw it. I don't know why. It would just not want to stick anymore whenever I would get it. Sorry, whenever I would push it through, and I don't know if maybe I pushed it too much or anything like that. Ooh. It went in, it went in, it's really strong. As you probably saw when I pulled it out with the pen, it actually grabbed my multi-placer. And that's, uh, that's on my end. It's, this multi-placer is really loose on this. I got to put more washi tape on it. This is my favorite pen. I know I can put it in a better, not, sorry, better pen. I can put it in a pen that it might kind of actually fit, but I really love this pen. <laughs> we all have that. We all have our favorite pens. So what I'm going to do, and this is what I usually do. I get a release paper and I just press on it just to make sure that it's fit in the multi-placer. And I'm just removing whatever's on the side real quick. It's really, I don't want to, it feels sturdy. That's probably the best way I can put it. Ooh, I like it. It was a little stringy, but that was on my end because I scraped it too hard and I pulled it out. Goodness, that was pretty easy. That was a lot easier than I usually have. So my other putty, I have to really wrestle with it to make sure it doesn't stick on these sides. This one doesn't really have that issue. Oh, huh. I really like that. So what I'm going to do, I have a painting that I've been working on. I'm trying to complete it. I'm going to test it a bit and I'll report back to you to see how this putty feels once I've already used it for a while. So stay tuned for that. And I really wanted to show you the putty. So the other thing I wanted to show that I have is a painting. But I actually have it in another room because Mailman delivered it in different packages. So I need to go get the other one because it's another room. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to really look for the package that had the painting. And I found another diamond. I keep finding them on my desk. <laughs> so, it's, I'll be I'll be transparent with you all. This is a couple of days after I showed the putty. I actually tested it out with one of my favorite pens. This is a pen I bought from Diamond Pen Pals, I believe. And I tested the putty. I put it in my multi-placer and in my single placer. And I tested it on a whole bunch of different paintings. Uh, I'm currently working on a painting for Drills and Chills. So majority of it worked there. But also another side painting that I've been trying to finish. Not once did I have to switch out the putty. And I really thought it would have given out. Because you can see it. <laughs> the poor putty is already taking a beating. <laughs> and I tested it out with just regular diamonds. With AB and some fairy dust for the random paintings. No issues at all. Thank goodness, because the number one issue we have a with ABs is when we press it with the wax, for example, the wax comes out. Really annoying. <laughs> so it didn't have an issue. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> didn't have an issue with the putty, and it didn't remove for either the fairy dust or the AB drills. Apologies. I do a, a lot of diamond art club paintings. That's why I say fairy dust, or pixie dust, or whatever name of diamond you're working on. It's the diamond with the mica powder. No issue at all. I'll be honest, I do recommend this putty. And it is such a good size. You do get a lot of putty. And this is all I've used. for. I've been using it for days. No issues at all. And there's no scent at all. Even after it was used over and over, I thought maybe it might start, you know, kind of making a smell. No, nothing. Just perfect. Just the way you it is when you take it out of the container. The putty does stay strong. I really do love it. And this is my seven placer. So as I said, poor putty really, really did a lot of work. <laughs> so at the time, I'm not, again, this is just something I purchased on my own. Art Dot didn't send me this or had me, you know, do a product review. I just really wanted to try the putty because I, I saw it as a product review from another diamond painter. I do recommend it. <laughs> I just think the case is so cute. I love the blue color. And the painting that I went to go... Locate, I actually have to find it through a bunch of other packages that I have. And just to remind everyone, this is all from Amazon. It was a kind of a small Amazon order I did. I love this painting when I saw it. Because first of all, it has a cat. 
<laughs> and I love the little sky image on it. And let me open it quick. Apologies for all the crinkly moves. Okay, there is a lot of crinkly moves. And I decided to purchase large painting. Because I really wanted to originally test it out with the putty, but... And Amazon took a bit. <laughs> and it was two day, but I knew it was around Prime Day, I believe it was ending. So all uh, the days got together, so I knew it was going to take a while. I, I don't mind. I mean, eventually I will get my items. <laughs> so let me just open it real quick. Ooh, that is a really large train of diamonds. It comes with your standard kit that taped to the diamonds. Sorry about that. That happens sometimes. I don't usually see it that way. Ooh, it's a nicer kit. It has your tray, your pens, it has two. And it has multi-placers in it. You know, let me just open it. I was going to leave it in the bag, but this is interesting. I haven't seen any of these diamonds I get from Amazon. They have a really kind of fancier kit. And I love how the wax matches the little grip for the pens. <laughs> That's so cute. I love this really light color. It works really well whenever you're placing because it dries kind of clear. So I have no issues using this wax. I really do like it. And your little grip for your pen. That gives you some comfort, especially if you're diamond painting woo, for several hours. Which, I'm being honest, I'm super guilty of. <laughs> Sorry, I have such a problem getting it through the pen. I don't know. Oh, it's because this one is a little flattened because it was in the tray. And you would just slide it up to here. And you could just use the single placer or a multi-placer. I believe this is nine. Or six. No, I believe it's a... I believe it's a six. And a straightener as well. That's what this little extra part is. And I thought I saw... Oh, interesting. I usually, whenever I get one of these larger multi-placers, they do come with a three. It didn't in this kit. That's interesting. And I love these plastic ones. They're really good if in case you want a multi-place and just, you know, just real quick. I love having extra plastic ones like these on the side. I can just grab them and start painting. The little pens actually have little glitter on it. So I love saving these because every now and then I'll grab one because of the brass tip. I really do like these. And it comes with a couple of Ziploc bags. You can store some of your extra drills while you're working on the painting or if you decide to kit up with resealable bags. Myself, I use it for my extra diamonds since I save everything. <laughs> so, and these are the diamonds. Oh my goodness, they're really dark toned. And they're too... They're, we call them trains, but they're just little sachets of diamonds. And they're all vacuum sealed, so you would have to, you know, cut each packet when you're putting them up. Gives you a warning just to keep the bag and everything away from from the little ones. Because, yeah, and the diamonds are really small, so you have to keep an eye on that. There's a large couple of packets of this color. Not sure if it's 310 or 939. I think it might be 310. Ooh, I love the yellow and the oranges. I really love when they have them this way instead of folded. I don't know why. It gives me a chance to actually see the diamonds a lot clearer. This nice blue, dark teal, darker blue. Ooh, I, ooh that really, really dark teal. I really like these colors. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is the painting. <laughs> I fell in love with the style because it has that kind of starry night kind of aspect of it. But it's it's not. It's It's a black cat with that sky in the background with some wonderful little kind of colorful mountains and it's just so so pretty and i love the cat it's so pretty and i love the blue color of the sky as you can see oh my goodness this painting is really really clear and i know that it was folded in half to me i it's, I, it's not it's not a problem for me because i always put these paintings in my portfolio so the creases disappear once i just leave it laying in the portfolio for a while I know, I know some diamond painters, this, you know, they're not a big fan of the crease, but for me, I, as long as I get my painting. <laughs> and I've actually painted on top of the crease, and after a while, the diamonds kind of settle a little bit. It just looks kind of bumpy, but after a while, it does settle. I've done that because I want to paint. <laughs> so, some information about this painting. It is WX5691. It is a 30 by 40, and it's 25 colors. And I love that they have the legend, the style that I'm a big fan of. Uh, one legend on the upper left and another one on the lower right. Which is really neat because I've probably seen the videos before. I spin my paintings. 
<laughs> While I'm diamond painting, I make it seem like I'm spinning it like a top. I just move them around whenever I'm painting. And I love they have two thumbnails, one up here and one right here. Really good to contrast in case, you know, you're not sure of a color. I do look at it just to make sure I'm, you know, picking up the correct color. And for the legend, from the numbers 1 to 8 are numerical order. Meaning 1 is 1, 2 is 2. And from 9 all the way to 25, they're capital letters. So A, B, C, and so forth. I love that they do that. And of course, a plane is passing by. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> it's the middle of the afternoon, so I know the planes start getting, you know, a little busier. And yeah, oh my goodness, I really love this painting. And all of this for everything I bought, I purchased through Amazon. I'll put it in the description below in case you're interested in this wonderful painting or in the putty as well. I really do love this putty. And I know I have to eventually switch it out for, as I said, I really use the current putty. I still have my pen, but I'll make sure to switch it out, especially when I'm starting a new painting. Who knows, it might be this one, because I really love the drill field. As you can see, it's really, really clear. You can see a darker tone in the lighter colors as in the yellows, and a lighter tone in the darker colors. For example, the cat. And I was correct, it is 310, those large packets I saw, but it's kind of sporadic. It's not a bunch of color blocking, except this section up here. Uh, it's pretty kind of spread out everywhere, even with the 310. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. It is so clear, and I love it. Ooh, I love this little cat. And yeah, that's all I wanted to show today. It was just a really small Amazon order. And I am waiting for a couple kind of small Amazon orders. I got a lot of paintings discounted. And I actually got an, another Art Dot product that I've been wanting forever. And I was able to pick it up. So stay tuned for that video. <laughs> and again, if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, all I ask is if you can do the usual. If you can like and subscribe, I really appreciate that as well really helps put my channel out there and it really allows me the opportunity to show everyone all of these wonderful diamond paintings we love to do <laughs> and again thank you for your time and have yourself a wonderful day thank you